Did you hear about the time when Korag the Ogre and King Frank the Angry Money-Loving Crab decided to have a contest? No? Well, you're in for a treat. Meet Korag the Ogre, a gentle giant with a heart as big as his stature, hailing from the mystical lands of the classical Trolls Peninsula. Korag's love for tranquility and harmony is as legendary as his might. He's a lover, not a fighter, but don't let that fool you. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. On the other side of the spectrum, we have King Frank, the angry money-loving crab. Ruling the cheap crustacean kingdom of Piggy Island, Frank's obsession with wealth is as vast as the ocean he dwells in. His temper is as fiery as the boiling pot he fears, and his greed is as deep as the sea. So let's see what happens when these two cross paths. Our story begins on a sunny day in Piggy Island, a strange place located in the classical Trolls Peninsula. It was the kind of day when you could almost forget about the oddities of life like ogres and money-loving crabs. But as fate would have it, the island's tranquility was about to be disrupted. In the heart of the island, Korag the ogre was enjoying a leisurely stroll. He was a creature of simple pleasures, preferring the crunch of leaves under his massive feet over the bustle of the ogre city. On this particular day, his stroll was interrupted by a peculiar sight. There in the middle of the path sat a crab, but not just any crab, a crab with a crown. His name was Frank, the angry money-loving crab, the self-proclaimed king of crustaceans. Korag was taken aback. In all his years, he had never seen a crab wearing a crown. He leaned in closer, his curiosity peaked. Frank, on the other hand, was not amused. He was a crab of importance, after all, and did not appreciate being scrutinized by an ogre. He snapped his pincers in irritation, a clear warning to Korag to maintain his distance. Who are you to disturb my sunbathing? Frank grumbled, his voice as grating as the sand beneath him. Korag, however, was not easily intimidated. He retorted with a hearty laugh, and who are you to claim the path as your sunbathing spot? The tension between the two was palpable, their personalities clashing like waves against the shore. Yet, even in this tense moment, there was a strange sense of camaraderie. Here they were, two creatures of vastly different worlds, brought together by an accidental meeting. It was an encounter that would set the stage for an epic tale of rivalry and friendship, of chickens and crustaceans, and of a battle that would shake the very foundations of Piggy Island. And that's how our unlikely duo met but the real fun is yet to come. Now, Karag the Ogre, being an ogre of honor, couldn't let Frank's disrespect go unchecked. With a snarl, Karag threw down the gauntlet, challenging Frank the angry money-loving crab. The terms were simple. A battle of armies, the victor to rule Piggy Island, the loser to scuttle away in shame. The challenge was accepted with a hiss from Frank, his crustacean eyes glinting with anticipation. However, Karag had an unorthodox strategy in mind. He didn't rally the typical ogre forces of trolls and goblins. Instead, he turned to the humble chicken. Now you might be wondering, why chickens? Well, Karag knew something most didn't. Chickens in great numbers could be a force to be reckoned with. Their sharp beaks, swift pecks, and relentless pursuit of anything remotely edible was an underestimated strength. And so, Korag began to amass his army winning over the chickens with promises of endless cornfields and the freedom to roam Piggy Island. The chickens flocked to his cause, their clucks and squawks filling the air, creating a symphony of poultry power. Meanwhile, Frank was not idle. He rallied his own forces, calling upon his fellow crustaceans. Lobsters and crabs crawled from every nook and cranny, their hard shells glinting in the sun, pinchers at the ready. They assembled with military precision, forming ranks that could rival any army. Their numbers grew, as did their confidence, certain they could crush Korag's feathered force. As the day of the battle neared, the tension on Piggy Island was palpable. The chickens with their fluffy feathers and determined clucks faced off against the crustaceans, their shells a hard barrier, their pinchers a formidable weapon. Each side believed in their leader, in their ability to triumph. Korag, standing tall and proud with his chicken comrades, looked on at Frank's crustacean army. There was no turning back now. The challenge had been thrown, the armies assembled, and the stakes set. And so, the stage was set for the most unusual battle Piggy Island had ever seen. Now imagine a horde of chickens charging at an army of crustaceans. Sounds hilarious, doesn't it? And that's exactly what it was. An epic battle of feathers and shells, squawks and clicks, the likes of which the classical Trolls Peninsula had never seen before. 
As the sun rose, the battlefield was merely a stretch of land between two unlikely adversaries. Korag the ogre standing tall and mighty with his army of chickens, their feathers fluffed up in readiness. Across them, King Frank the angry crab, his pincers snapping with frustration, surrounded by his crustacean comrades. The air was filled with tension, the silence broken only by the occasional cluck or the scratching of a lobster's claw on the sand. Then, with a mighty roar from Korag, the battle commenced. Chickens, not known for their fighting prowess, charged with an intensity that could only come from the leadership of an ogre. The crustaceans, on the other hand, formed a formidable wall of snapping claws and hard shells. It was a sight to behold. The chickens, under Korag's guidance, employed some unconventional tactics. They pecked, they flapped, they squawked, and they even used their eggs as projectiles. The crustaceans, led by Frank, retaliated with their own unique strategies. They scuttled, they snapped, they nipped, and they even used their shells as shields. The battle raged on, the tide shifting back and forth. There were moments of pure chaos, feathers flying, shells cracking. But there were also moments of sheer comedy, like when a chicken managed to ride a lobster, or when a crab got stuck in a chicken coop. Despite the hilarity of the situation, the stakes were high. The future of Piggy Island hung in the balance. Karag and Frank locked in a duel, their eyes meeting in a fierce standoff. In the end, it wasn't about who had the stronger army, but who had the smarter strategy. And as the dust settled, it became clear who had outsmarted whom. But that, my friends, is a story for the next scene. So, who do you think won? The ogre with a heart of gold or the crab with a love for coins? Now picture this, Korag, the ogre had a brilliant yet unconventional strategy up his sleeve. He had noticed something peculiar about his feathered friends, the chickens. They were not just ordinary chickens, they had an extraordinary talent. They could lay eggs at an astonishing pace. Korag, being the quick thinker that he was, decided to use this to his advantage. Imagine an army of crustaceans, led by Frank, confidently marching towards what they thought would be an easy victory. But the sight that greeted them was far from what they expected. There, right in front of them, was a hill. A hill made entirely of eggs. With the chickens replenishing the supply as quickly as the eggs rolled down, it was a sight to behold. Frank the crab was taken aback. He was expecting a fight, yes, but a hill of eggs? That was beyond his wildest imagination. His crustacean army tried to advance, but the slippery eggs were too much for them. They slipped, they slid, and they fell, unable to make any progress. On the other side, Korag and his chickens watched as Frank's army struggled. The sight was absurdly funny, and they couldn't help but laugh. The ogre, the chickens, and even the island's pigs, who had been watching from the sidelines, joined in the laughter. The cheers of victory echoed throughout Piggy Island. Frank's shock turned into disbelief, and then into defeat. His dreams of ruling Piggy Island crumbled as quickly as his army had. The once mighty crab was now nothing more than a fallen tyrant. After the laughter subsided, Korag was crowned as the new king of Piggy Island. His victory celebration was as unique as his strategy, with chickens clucking in joy and pigs grunting in approval. And that's how Korag the gentle ogre became the unlikely king of Piggy Island. Well, that was a clucking good time, wasn't it? Just when you think you've seen it all, along comes Korag the ogre, Frank the angry money-loving crab, and of course, our feathery friends, the chickens. Who would have thought that a meeting between such unlikely characters would lead to such a hilarious series of events? The chickens, in their unassuming, clucking glory, took us by surprise. And let's not forget the epic showdown. Korag and Frank, locked in a battle of wits and strength, provided us with a spectacle that was both unexpected and incredibly funny. In the end, it was Korag's triumph and Frank's downfall that left us laughing out loud. And who knew, chickens, it turns out, can be quite the game changers. So the next time you see a chicken, remember, they might just be the unexpected heroes of an extraordinary adventure. And that's the story of how an ogre, a crab, and a whole lot of chickens turned an ordinary day in Piggy Island into an unforgettable comedy of errors.